hi welcome to my channel and today i have another theater vlog for you today i am going to the manchester opera house to see i should be so lucky which is a new musical featuring music from stock aiken and waterman um so it's got songs from like jason donovan kind of minogue those songs in there uh, so it's actually having its world premiere here in Manchester so I'm really excited to go and see it um, I managed to get some offer tickets so they, this week they put all the tickets were reduced to £30 so I'm sat in the stalls on row J I think row J seat 22 I think um, definitely on row J um, so yeah it should be good my husband actually went to see it on Sunday and he said it was really good and he thinks I'm really good would enjoy it so I'm really looking forward to it it should be a good night um, and yeah obviously I will show you around the theatre show you the merch that they've got and then give you a full review of the show when I get home so yeah I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog So I just got here in time, trams due any second. In fact, I can see it coming now. A little nonsense, it's what I need. Now, if you want to get the best of me, got you smiling, that's for sure. Funny how you had the best of me. So it's now half six, just arrived in town. I realised I've got here way too early. I used to try and get here for seven, and we're at half six. So I, just, I must have just left really early, not realised what time it was. So yeah, I'm gonna walk up to the theatre and I'm gonna be there really early. So I'm gonna have a long time, long wait before it starts. But anyway, I'm gonna walk up now. Okay, since I'm so early, I'm just gonna nip into Tesco and get some sweets. Now in the theatre, it is seven o'clock now and the auditorium's about to open. I bought a magnet, I didn't buy a pair of them because Lauren's bought one on Sunday, so I've just brought that with me. <laughs> I think you can head in now. Just in the auditorium now, so I am on row J. I can't remember which number. I think 22. This one, so I'm just gonna check. But yeah, oh, this is my view. This is a really good view, actually. Okay, so I'm in my seat now. I'm on row J in the store, seat 22. And the view's really good. I think I just showed it you, but it's a really good view. Probably best view I've ever had sat in this theatre. So yeah, I'm really happy with the view. It should be a really good show. So I am just going to have a quick look around the theatre and then I'm going to relax. Um, it's still half an hour till the show starts, so I will get back to you now in the interval.
now the interval and I'm really enjoying it. It's such a fun show. Really looking forward to the second half now, but yeah, so far, really enjoying it. I really enjoyed it, it was really really good. Obviously I'll tell you all about it once I get home. Yeah, really enjoyed it. actually been a few days since I've seen uh, the musical I Should Be So Lucky. My children have been ill so I've just not had a chance to sit down and film this review section of the show but they're in bed now so I thought I'd just quickly give you a quick review of I Should Be So Lucky. So I went to the show, see the show whilst it was in previews so things may change um, since I've seen it I may have to see it again on the line to see if anything has changed but I did really enjoy the show, I thought it was really good. So like I said I went to a preview show which took place on Tuesday the 7th of November, um, I went to an evening show, it started at half seven and I was sat in the stalls on row J, seat 23 and the view from there was absolutely excellent, I would definitely sit there again. The view was fantastic, plenty of leg room, and I really enjoyed the view from there. It's probably one of the best views I've had 
when I've sat for a show at the Manchester Opera House. Um, so yeah, I would definitely sit there again. Luckily, I did manage to get my ticket quite cheap. There was an offer on with it being previews and it was £30 best available seat. So I only paid £30 for my seat, which was really good because I think those seats are usually about £60, something like that. So it was really good to get it for that price. So merch wise, there was quite a bit of merch for the show. They had t-shirts, they had, I think they had, they had a magnet, which I did buy, which is here. I think it was six pounds. I'm not sure, I will, I'm not sure. I'll definitely film the price list so you'll be able to see it in there. And I also picked up a program, which was five pound fifty. Um, other things they had, they had like an inflatable, Flamingo, which I think you can put your drink in, like a drink holder. They had a fan. They also had a tote bag, a tumbler, heart sunglasses, and a pin set. So quite a lot of merch. And I've just checked and the magnet was actually £5. So that's quite a good price for a magnet. So if you don't know much about I Should, the I Should Be So Lucky musical, it's actually a jukebox musical which features songs from the from the famous songwriting and producing team Stock, Aiken and Waterman. And their songs sort of dominated the charts around uh, the 1980s and early 1990s. They were really big pop and sort of dance, dancey songs and really catchy. And I remember a lot of them, so they're definitely from my era. So the show actually features 10 number one singles and over 30 songs from the Hit Factory. And these include songs from Kylie Minogue, Jason Donovan, Rick Astley, and Banana Rama, uh, and a few more as well. So a lot of big names in there. So the musical has been written and directed by Debbie Izzett, and the, sh the musical tells the story of Ella and Nathan, who are a young couple who are about to get married. That is until Nathan speaks to his grandfather and learns of a family secret. And after learning this secret, he ends up jilting Ella at the altar. So after getting jilted at the altar, Ella's friends and family try to convince her that she still needs to go on the honeymoon and try and get over Nathan, and that they will all come with her and they can all have a good time. So Ella and her friends and family head off to Turkey where they're staying in a fancy resort. Whilst in Turkey, Ella meets Nadim, who is tall, dark and handsome, and he tries to help her get over Nathan. Meanwhile, Nathan learns that his granddad had gotten confused and the family secret didn't in fact have anything to do with Ella. So Nathan, realising his mistake, heads off to Turkey with his best friend Ash to try and convince Ella to take him back. So that is the main plot of the show. There are a few little subplots that go on between the between some of the other characters, but that is the main plot of this of this musical. So in the musical, Kylie does actually make an appearance um, in like a digital form. So she actually appears in a mirror, a sort of like Ella's sort of inner self, sort of inner voice. Um, and maybe sort of like a godmother sort of character. So she sort of gives Ella advice on what she should do about a certain situations. So I thought the way that they've managed to incorporate Kylie into the show was really clever and actually done really well. And yeah, it, Kylie is actually a big part of the musical. She does have quite a big role. So I thought it was really good the way that they've done it. So the show has been choreographed by Jason Gilkerson. And he has done a fantastic job, especially in the big group numbers. They were such high energy and just so much fun to watch. I really enjoyed all the big group dance numbers. Um, like I said, they were just really fun um, to watch and they just looked really good. So the set and costume for the show have been designed by Tom Rogers. And again, he's done a fantastic job. Um, the set I thought was very slick. It was able to change um, seamlessly between different venues so it went from like a wedding venue to an airport to a Turkish resort to the beach even to a casino so like I said it, it was the changes between these were seamless and just worked really well so the colour palette for the costumes and set 
is very pink and red and it seems like there's a bit of a heart theme running through the show um from like the arch of the set is sort of heart shaped these are the little heart elements throughout the props and the show and also the colours red and pink are what are usually associated with heart. So to accompany the set and props um, there's also some video projections which are used to help sort of create the scenes and they're sort of projected onto the back wall of the set and I thought it worked really well, it really helped create the different venues and different scenes um, so yeah I thought that use of projection worked was really good. So the cast for this show were absolutely amazing. They all had so much energy on stage and just looked like they were having so much fun. I thought Lucy May Summer as the lead Ella was just spectacular. I thought she was able to show Ella's strength really well but also her vulnerable side and she really made the audience connect with the character and really root for her as well. I also thought she made the character seem really relatable and her vocals were just phenomenal. I thought she was had such an amazing voice and a really nice sounding voice as well. I thought she, her voice worked really well for these songs. We then had Billy Roberts as Ella's partner, Nathan. And again, he was brilliantly cast in his role. Again, he was able to show his character's vulnerable side. And he also made the character really likeable. Even though he'd like jilted Ella at the altar, he really sort of rooted for his character and really wanted Ella to take him back which I think shows he, he did a really good job. And yeah, I thought he was great and his vocals were good as well. We also had Giovanni Spano who played Ash, who was Nathan's best friend. I thought he was really well cast in this part. He was like that cheeky chappy and he was like cheeky and charming and he worked really well for this role. And yeah, I just thought he was really funny. And again, he had really good vocals as well. A few of the cast members to mention were Matthew Croak as Nadine. I thought he was really good. I really enjoyed his character. And I sort of felt sorry for his character. I sort of did want him to end up with Ella, but then also really enjoyed like Nathan. And it's sort of this little love triangle but I thought he played it really well. Two other people to mention are Kayla Carter and Scott Page, who played Ella's friends. I thought they worked really well. They had really good humour, um, really good comic timing, and yeah, I thought they were really good as Ella's friends. Okay, so now's probably a good place to show you the programme, so I can just go quickly through the cast biographies and show you what's in here. Okay, so this is the program so it says stop aching and waterman's i should be so lucky the musical created by debbie is it and then it just says opera house manchester so on the front page you've got some information on the opera house and some upcoming shows some actual information on the opera house Again, I think this is always nice to have a bit of information on the theatre that um, you're watching it in. You then have some information here. Stock Aiken and Stock Aiken and Waterman. Twenty facts you need to know. Some photos of them back in the day. Then you have a brief history of Stock Aiken and Waterman. So this goes through and lists all the things that happened at major points along the way so then here it says produced by stock aiken and waterman top 10 best-selling chart so these are um songs which they produced the ones that are in the top 10 best-selling ones and then the ones on this page are the ones that were written and produced by stock aiken and waterman and these are the top 10 chart so those ones and then we come to the cast biographies so i think these are done in alphabetical order so we had dominic anderson as revel harrington the third so his character he is a guest staying at the same resort as ella 
and he is married to so, sort of married to um a f someone who Ella knows from I think it was from high school um but they end up being not quite what they seem uh we then have Tegan Bannister and she is ensemble and cover Bonnie and Olivia we then have Ralph Bogard he's playing Hassan Hassan works at the resort he's sort of a masseuse and he ends up sort of becoming friends with Michael who is uh, Ella's best man sort of best friend we then have Elliot Broadfoot, he is an ensemble and cover Michael and Big Mike. We then have Kayla Carter who plays Bonnie, so she is one of Ella's best friends and she's a bridesmaid. Um, I actually seen Kayla Carter in The Colour Purple on its UK tour. Um, she's also She was also in Bedknobs and Brooks at the UK tour so I probably saw her in that as well. And she was also in Rent at the Hope Mill Theatre, which I actually missed seeing that, so I didn't get to see her in that. So she's been in a few things that I've seen, and she's always been really good in everything that I've seen. We then have Jamie Chapman as Spencer. So Spencer is sort of the owner or manager of the resort that they are staying in in Turkey. He's really funny, really camp. Jamie does a fantastic job with this character like I said he's really really funny and um, he steals he steals most of the scenes that he's in actually he's, he was really really good um so he's been in things like the nativity the musical um he's been in the mousetrap been in cat on a hot tin roof so those are a few things that he's done so we then had Gemma Churchill playing Ivy Ivy is Ella's grandmother and um, she's been in things, she's been in Nativity the musical, a lot of people seem to be in, in Nativity the musical, I think um, because Debbie Izzet was involved with that, she was the creator of that franchise, so she has seemed to have used a lot of people that have been in that. We then have Matthew Croak who played Nadim. He was sort of like a little bit of a love interest for Ella while she's at the resort. Um, he's been in Aladdin at the Prince Edward Theatre. He's been in Hair, uh, Singing in the Rain, and you Get Your Gun. I actually saw him in uh, the pantomime Aladdin when it was at the Manchester Opera House, not last year, the year before. And he was really good in that as well. We then have Emma Crossley. She's ensemble slash cover. Brittany, Ivy, Shelley, Helen and Bonnie and assistant dance captain. We then have Jessica Daly as Brittany. So Brittany is Ella's sister. And she has a bit of a gambling problem. So her theatre credits include The Wizard of Oz at the London Palladium. Billy Elliot, uh, White Christmas, Officer and a Gentleman, Vita, Mamma Mia. So she's done quite a lot of things. We then had Gary Davis as Big Mike. Uh, Big Mike is Ella's dad. His theatre credits includes, include Strictly Ballroom, Annie, Nativity the Musical again. Like I said, a lot of people seem to have been in that musical. We then had Cade Fer I can't sorry, I can't pronounce the second name, but he's in some ensemble slash cover Nadim and Dance Captain. We then have Sydney Is It Ager. She played Helen slash cover Olivia, Ella and Brittany. Her credits include Nativity the Musical. Um, and she's also done some film things as well. We then have Melissa Jacks as Shelley. Uh, Shelley is Ella's mother. 
Um, she's been in things like 42 Balloons, Everyone's Talking About Jamie, Mamma Mia, uh, My Fair Lady. So again, she's done a lot of stuff. We then have Joe Kelly as Ensemble slash Cover Nathan. Ada Nightingale is Ensemble. Then we have Scott Page, Page playing Michael. Michael is Ella's best friend. Um, I think he's like her best man at her wedding. And um, he's been in things like The Great British Break Off. He was also in Nativity. And he was also in The Adams Family. I saw him in that and he was really good in that as well. Um, then have Billy Roberts who played Nathan. So I spoke about Billy before. Um, he's been in things like Titanic the Musical. Uh, again, he was in Nativity the Musical, uh, he's been in Rock of Ages, and he's been in The Wizard of Oz. We then have Giovanni Spani, who played Ash, who, like I said, he is Nathan's best friend. So he's been in things such as The Wizard of Oz at the Leicester Curve, he's been in Cinderella, Bat Out of Hell, uh, Fame. So he's done a lot of theatre work. We then have Lucy May Summer who played Ella. Uh, like I said, she was absolutely fantastic. I loved her voice. I thought she had a really nice voice. So she's been in Titanic the musical. I think I saw her when it was on at the Lowry. She's also been in Mary Poppins and Chicago and Quality Street. So again, she's done quite a few things. We then have Anna Unwin, who was ensemble slash cover Ella. James Willoughby Moore, again, he's ensemble slash cover Ash, Nathan and Michael. Louis Wood is the onstage swing. Uh, Lauren Wolf is ensemble and cover Ivy and Shelley. Then we have here a few photos from the rehearsals we have uh, Kylie's little biography and then here you've got your cast list understudy list band list creatives and production team list We've got more um, rehearsal photos and you've got your creatives biographies. And you've got special thanks there. And I think that is everything in the programme. Yeah, and then you've just got your adverts. Yeah, and that is program so I think that's quite a nice program it has got quite a bit of information in it so I thought yeah that's quite a good program so I thoroughly enjoyed this musical I think Debbie is it has done a really good job of um, placing the songs in this show because she's done it so well that you'd think the songs have actually been written for this show because they just fit in so perfectly so yeah she's done a really good job with um, the way she's written it and fit all the songs in. Saying that, however, the story is pretty simple. It is a pretty simple story. However, it works for this type of musical. People that are coming to this musical aren't looking for a really deep, meaningful story. They're coming for a fun night out. And that's definitely what you get with this musical. It's fun, it's fast paced, it's energetic. It's definitely have you on your feet dancing at the end. Yeah, it's a little bit cheesy. It's very camp, but I think that's its charm. And it, it just, it's definitely the feel good musical of the year for me. It's definitely um, my feel, a feel good musical. And yeah, I think it's the best feel good Sort of musical that I've seen this year. So yeah, this is a fun-filled musical with great soundtrack and I highly recommend it. And I could easily watch this show again and again because it just, it, you just leave the theatre with a big smile on your face 
and yeah it's definitely one of those shows to go to if you want cheering up and yeah I loved it I'll definitely hopefully go and see this again sometime I'd love to see it again I just really enjoyed it I think it helps that the songs are so fun and ones that I know from growing up and really enjoyed so yeah really really enjoyed it I did give it four stars just because like I said the story is very simple um but like I say it has been done really well the way they fit the songs in um and I did see I did go to the preview so it could what I've seen could change it could change bits so I would really love to go and see this again to see if they do change any bits but for now it is definitely a four star show and one that I highly recommend because I think everyone will enjoy it so i hope you've enjoyed this little theater vlog and review if you enjoy these sort of videos then do please subscribe and hit the notification bell and be notified as soon as a new video goes up um, i do have a few stuff to do from london it's taken me a while to edit those ones um but hopefully they'll be coming soon i do have some musicals booked in I say musicals at some shows booked in. I'm going to see Oliver at the Leeds at Leeds Playhouse. Um, I've got uh, Cinderella the Rock Panto at uh, Liverpool's Everyman booked in. I'm also going to a kids musical, uh, the world premiere of Roald Dahl's The Enormous Crocodile, which is also at Leeds Playhouse. So if you're int interested in seeing uh review vlogs for any of those like i said please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as those goes up so yeah like i said i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you again soon bye